When managing diabetes, understanding what you consume plays a significant role in keeping your blood sugar levels in check. One of the areas many people get confused about is fruits. Are they good for diabetics? And if so, which ones? The reality is that not all fruits are created equal. Some can be a boon for your diabetes care, while others might cause unwanted spikes in blood sugar levels. While fruits offer essential vitamins, antioxidants, and dietary fiber, they also contain carbohydrates, which can affect your blood sugar levels. The glycemic index, GI, and glycemic load, GL, are two metrics that can help you choose fruits that will have a lesser impact on your glucose levels. In this video, we'll break down the best fruits to incorporate into your diabetes diet along with their GI, GL, and other nutritional benefits. Number 1. Papaya Originated in southern Mexico, papaya has made its place in every household. It is bright orange-yellow inside with a hard greenish-yellow peel. Papaya is full of antioxidants, fiber, vitamin C, A and E. These three vitamins are potent antioxidants and help prevent increased cholesterol in the arteries. High amounts of cholesterol lead to heart attack, stroke, and hypertension. Constipation is a significant problem in many, especially diabetics. Papaya has papain, an enzyme that aids in digestion. In addition, the fiber and water content in papaya also improves digestion. Therefore, consuming papaya provides relief from constipation. Papaya contains a range of antioxidants, flavonoids, and phytonutrients. In addition, they are responsible for preventing toxin buildup in the body. Papaya offers a wide range of health benefits. It is low in glycemic index and has a powerhouse of antioxidants. Papaya is low in calories, but it has high amounts of essential vitamins like A, B, C, and E. In addition, it has minerals like copper, magnesium, potassium, and lycopene. Also, folate, lutein, pantothenic acid make papaya suitable for people with diabetes. But of course, when eaten in the correct amount, the best way to consume papaya is as a filler. It should be peeled and chopped. The best time to have papaya is during the daytime, preferable as a mid-morning salad. A quarter of regular-sized papaya is the correct proportion of papaya to consume. Number 2. Apples Native to Central Asia, but universally accepted, apples are not the forbidden fruits. Instead, it's a part of many cuisines worldwide. Polyphenol in apples fights many diseases. In addition, apples are a rich source of vitamin C and magnesium. They also carry the very potent polyphenol, hence the saying that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. There is no reason for a diabetic person to shy away from apples. On the contrary, with a GI of 36 and a glycemic load of 6, apples have very low sugar content and are thus very healthy. Doctors have established that people who consume apples regularly have a 28% lower possibility of suffering from type 2 diabetes. That is because polyphenols in apples prevent the wear and tear of beta cells responsible for insulin production. Apples are also excellent for weight loss as they are not very calorie-dense yet full of fiber and volume. Their probiotic properties also aid weight loss. Weight loss is the best way to manage diabetes. Apples are best when consumed in the morning as the pectin present in the skin aids proper digestion throughout the day. It also keeps you full for longer and lessens your calorie intake. Eat apples raw and with skin as cooking them could destroy their minerals and vitamins. Instead, one should try to consume the skin with the apple flesh as the skin is a storehouse of pectin, fibers, and flavonoids. Number 3. Oranges one of the most beloved fruits from the citrus family, oranges are famous for their tangy taste. Additionally, they are full of nutritional benefits. Oranges are an excellent choice as they are brimming with vitamin C and fibers. The potent ones are lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. Oranges pose no threat to a diabetic patient. On the contrary, with their high fiber and nutrient contents, oranges should be your go-to fruit. 
The GI of orange is as low as 31 to 51, and the glycemic load is around 5. These values indicate that oranges are safe for diabetic people, and their consumption will not affect their blood sugar levels. The best way to have orange is to have it whole, as the fruit skin carries most of the nutrients. However, having oranges in their juiced form will remove the rich fiber content. One should also avoid packed or canned oranges containing added sugars and preservatives. The best time to indulge in oranges is between meals. Avoid oranges on an empty stomach as citric acid might lead to acidity and bloating. Oranges should also be avoided as a dessert after a heavy meal because the acid can release stomach enzymes that interfere with your digestion. Number 4. Peaches Peaches are famous all around the globe for their sweet and zesty flavor, but their goodness is not just limited to the taste, and they have more benefits than you can fathom. Peaches are full of potassium and antioxidants. As a result, they are also a rich source of vitamin C. The antioxidant properties of peaches are so potent that it starts showing their effect in 30 minutes of consumption. Peaches are an excellent choice, whether you have diabetes or not. The glycemic index and glycemic load of peaches are 28 and 3, respectively. These values are considerably low and safe. Peaches are rich in insoluble fibers that add bulk to stool and thus makes bowel movement easy. Therefore, peaches can help relieve constipation, a common complaint in diabetes patients. Peaches also have loads of bioactive compounds, which increases metabolism. In addition, peaches have few fats, making them great for weight loss and diabetes management. The best way to have a peach is to have it raw, in its natural form. It is advisable to consume unpeeled peach and refrain from consuming packed or canned peach products because of high sugar contents and external additives. Due to its acidic nature, do not have peaches on an empty stomach or first thing in the morning. However, peaches can be a great addition to almost all your meals. Add them to your shakes, smoothies, and salads. Number 5. Blackberries Blackberries are a staple in Asia, Europe, North and South America, and we love them for their sweet, juicy, and tangy taste. Blackberries are a viable source of vitamin C iron, calcium, and magnesium. These nutrients can heal wounds quickly, improve skin health, fight against the common cold, and prevent scurvy. Blackberries are amongst the best fruits for diabetic patients. Therefore, with a glycemic index of 25 and glycemic load of 2.02, consumption of blackberry is not going to have any significant changes in the blood sugar levels. Blackberries are also a rich source of polyphenols and soluble fibers, which help keep blood sugar levels in check. The best time to have blackberries is at breakfast. The dietary fiber will keep you full for longer and aid proper digestion. Do include them in your oatmeal, pancakes, smoothies, and sandwiches. Remember to keep the portions under check. Number 6 Plum Plums have their own identity from the stone fruit family due to their deep red appearance. One consumes it in fresh and dried forms. Plum is low in calories and has good soluble fiber content. Phytochemicals in a plum help in lowering inflammation. The same results in a reduced chance of heart diseases. Potassium is good for blood pressure control and prevents stroke. Plum fruit has a glycemic index of 40 units for 100 grams. It has fiber which is suitable for people who have diabetes. Apart from the benefits mentioned above, plum boosts the production of a hormone called adiponectin. Adiponectin helps in lowering blood glucose levels. The best way to consume plums is fresh as a fruit. Many people also eat dehydrated plums known as prunes. It should be peeled and chopped. The best time to have plum is during the daytime. One medium-sized plum at a time is the correct proportion to consume. Number 7. Avocado The only fruit that has fat. This fruit is related to the cinnamon tree and belongs to the berry family. Native to Central America and Mexico, it is now readily available throughout the world. 
Avocado has potassium, an essential mineral for the function of your body. It helps maintain blood pressure, heart health, renal function, and the nervous system. In addition, fats in avocado are healthy unsaturated fat. Good fat helps to reduce cholesterol and supports good cardiovascular health. Also, it protects the body against hypertension and stroke. The fiber content in avocado is high. High fiber primarily gives us two benefits. One is satiety for a more extended period. As a result, it curbs unnecessary cravings that help in weight loss. Secondly, it helps maintain gut health as fiber helps promote the growth of healthy bacteria. Avocado is a versatile fruit and can be a part of low calorie, keto, paleo diet, etc. Avocado has a very low glycemic index and high fiber. These two properties make it an ideal fruit option for people with diabetes. Thus, it helps improve insulin sensitivity, which helps control blood sugar levels. Half of an avocado is an excellent meal to reap all health benefits. You can eat them in several ways, slice it, and add to a whole grain bread sandwich. Chop it into cubes and toss it in a salad. Make a dip by mashing it and adding lemon juice and spices. Add it to your omelette. Spread it on your toast. Kiwi fruit, also known as Chinese gooseberry. Kiwi fruit is a native of China and Taiwan. Kiwi has a tangy flavor and acidic taste. Kiwi fruit is rich in vitamin C, vitamin B6, magnesium, calcium, and antioxidants. This fruit is effective in lowering blood pressure due to its high potassium content, accelerated wound healing, due to its high VIC-K content, and improving bowel movements, due to its high fiber content. Kiwi fruit is also a rich source of choline, lutein, and zeaxanthin. These components help in the prevention of kidney stones. In addition, studies show that kiwi fruit can help prevent and cure colorectal cancer due to its rich fiber content. It most certainly is. Kiwi has a GI of 50, making it a low GI food group, and its glycemic load is as low as 7.7. Therefore, if consumed in moderation, kiwi fruit does not result in an instant insulin spike. Instead, the blood sugar levels rise steadily and to a minimal extent. The kiwi skin is full of insoluble fibers and a compound inositol which makes one's body more sensitive to insulin and thus helps in curing diabetes. Kiwi is also very low in calories and has mostly water weight. Therefore, uptake of kiwi can also help in weight loss and weight management. Optimum weight is the best way to keep one's sugar levels under check. The recommended serving size of kiwi for an average person is about two medium-sized fruits. 140 grams or less. Kiwi can be eaten in both ways, raw and cooked. The best way to have kiwi is to include it as a topping or a side dish in your meals. For example, you can use chopped kiwis on your oatmeal to make it more nutritious or add it to your shakes and salads. The best time to eat kiwi is in the second half of the day as kiwi leads to the release of serotonin responsible for managing the sleep cycle. So having kiwis right before bedtime can ensure sound sleep.